So, another update by Litchi, Litchi Pilot. I'm a beta tester, so it's a Litchi Pilot beta. And if you didn't know, you can actually download the app yourself and give it a go. If you don't know how to do it, please check out my series on the Litchi Pilot beta. Tell you all about it. now. <laughs> this one's been going on for a long time now. I'll use two other apps as well, which is the Maven Evo and Drone Link DJI. And they're fully working apps, but for some reason, with Litchi Pilot Beta, um, it's still ongoing, it's, they're still testing. Now, hopefully in this one, I'll be trying again, yet again, with the follow to see if that's been resolved. I put the update here, which is the 559. Most of it's about the mapping, and to be quite honest, they're pretty good on their waypoints, but if I've got time, I'll try out the waypoints as well. But what I want to check out personally is they resolved the follow. <laughs> right, let's get a drone in the air. Oh, hang on, let's just put it back onto manual. Let's do auto takeoff. So I've got the Mini 3 Pro today. That's my main drone. I'm just going to get myself set up for the follow. Now if I go up to the top left and put on the follow, Press the go button. Now, this is something else that I mentioned on the last update. It's on about the follow terrain danger, not recommended with this mobile device. Uh, face the attended travel direction, then fly the drone to the desired position, which I would say is about there anyway, uh, and then press start. So, press start. Okay, the drone come around to the side. Now that green upside down pyramid is your home point. One good thing about the Litchi Pilot, it repositions its home point when you're on the move. So you're gonna see that moving around with me. So anyway, at the moment it's, it's on me, which is good. Okay, so it looks like I've still got to mess about with the gimbal. The drone's just coming around to the front. It's going around to the side and it's, it's, it's sort of got me. You can hear the avoidance beeping as well. Okay, it's swinging back round. I'm just gonna walk down this way a little bit. Probably gonna go off camera, Mo. Okay, what I'm gonna do now, just gone past the just gone past my car. Okay, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put on the lock. So this is put the lock on now, it should stay at that same height, I'm right I'm thinking. So high, the higher I go, that should stay pretty low. Okay, let's just check. You can see, hopefully you can see how low that drone is there. Um, I've got eight, eight, nine. Okay, it looks, okay. If they go up a bit further. Okay. It's got my feet. I'm not touching the gimbal. Will it recorrect itself? It's just got my feet in it now. Okay, I'm gonna unlock the altitude height there. Okay, it's off, going off on one now. <laughs> okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna spend too much time. It's, it's working. I wouldn't say it's perfect myself. But anyway, we're gonna stop that. 
We're going to come out of that and we're going to go into waypoints. Now, hopefully, um, I, haven't bit, I haven't done waypoints on there for ages. So if I click on the files, right, I've got the BP mine. So I'm going to tap on that one. And hopefully it will kick straight in. We'll see what happens. But I haven't tried out the waypoints for about at least three updates. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so it's going off. It's going to look for its first waypoint. Now, if I wanted to, I can check on the map here. Um, so, yeah, you can see I've got six waypoints. It's just sorting itself out. So, I'm right in thinking I had it set up to go backwards. Yeah. I feel like I'm thinking, if I use my fingers, I can, yeah, I can enlarge that. Okay. So that's looking good. I mean, I, what I will do when I finish this, I'll go back home and check it on the, uh, on the computer, mainly because to see, is it juddering? Um, from what I can see at the moment, it's all looking good. To be honest, I think Litchi, well, the Litchi pilot, his waypoints, they've got it spot on. But that follow, I don't know. Anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put on some music, because obviously it's going to take um, probably about five minutes, I expect. And what I've, got the, what I've done is got the drone facing inwards, and if you look on the screen, I've got like a point of interest, and that's why the drone is sort of facing inwards. And it's facing in towards that uh, mining tower. I'm not, I'm not expecting the drone to land on the landing pad, but it's pretty close. Um, it's one of the one of the drawbacks with the Mini 3 Pro. Anyway, we, we've landed. Right, guys, uh, because I'm a tester, um, my main concern was more to do with the follow. I, I, it looked a bit better. I probably could have tested it a little bit further with it. Um, Yes, I mean, it's not as bad as it was two updates before, so that, that's one good thing. Waypoints seem to be all right, but like I said, I'll let you, let you decide on that. I mean, I'll, the whole point of this video really is to see what you think of the Litchi Pilot Beater at the moment. It's still not finished. I think it's still got a long way to go. Remember, you can only download the Litchi Pilot Beater 
if you already own the Litchi app, guys. You can't just download it for nothing. For nothing. You have to have, you have to have an account with Litchi. And today, just make sure I've got the Mini 3 Pro, I've got my RCM One controller, and also I've got my Samsung tablet. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, there's going to be another video coming right sooner. Thank <laughs> you.